all the snowy mountains. <laughs> oh, so beautiful! <laughs> I'm Lavi and this is Oli. Over the past four years we have been on some epic adventures around the world. Now, after converting an old van into our new home on wheels, we are ready to hit the road and explore the wonders of Europe. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey and let the adventure begin! <laughs> Welcome to our odyssey. <laughs> I'm just eating some cereal <laughs> and having a coffee. This morning, we are in the Swiss Alps. Woo! We slept last night, we parked our camper van here by the side of the road in a town called Herbriggen, which is just a small town in the valley here. And this car park is directly in front of this train station. We're about to take a train to go further up into the valley and towards the big snowy mountains. And Lavi's just preparing us some lunch because today we're going on a hike. We've got some olives. Some olives. We've got some camembert. Egg and bread. Some fruits. We've got it all. Got some nuts as well. Fruits and nuts. We're really prepared for a nice, good hike today. And the weather looks absolutely incredible. Not a cloud in the sky. It's going to be blue skies, sunshine. And we can see the snowy mountains over there in the distance. You can see? So that's where we're headed today. But we'll tell you a little bit more about that later on. <laughs> okay, Our train is due to arrive in like one minute. But it's just on the opposite side of the road. So that's nice and easy. So the train's about to arrive and we are at the station Herbringen. We're gonna take the train four stops to Zermatt. Now this train goes twice an hour at 21 past and 44 past the hour. And it's just coming right now. Oh, this train's empty. <laughs> but it's really nice and it's nice and warm. And last night was really, really cold. So the return ticket price from Herbriggen to Zermatt is 77 Swiss francs for the both of us, which is quite expensive, but it is a really nice train. And uh, it is also free parking in Herbriggen. <laughs> is very special because in this town they have no cars just electric cars people on bicycles and everybody walking around it's so quiet here it's really nice and the main reason why they did it was about air pollution and being able to actually see the mountains around them which is so cool that they prioritized that but this town Zermatt is actually only accessible by either train or I guess hiking and that's it so that helps to really preserve this unique and special atmosphere of the place. But as special and unique as this town is, this is not what we're here to see. So we have another cable car to take up a mountain to two and a half thousand meters. The sun has arrived! Ah! Ah! <laughs> uh, we are going actually through a tunnel which is like like this steep. <laughs> Crazy construction! <laughs> <laughs> Our third gondola trip yes. of our van adventure so far. <laughs> and we are now going up even higher into the mountains. <laughs> nice! Oh, how beautiful! Yeah. 
So we have arrived here at the top cable car station called Blauherd Station. It's uh, 2,571 meters above sea level. We skipped all of the walking up to the altitude and uh, actually now we're just going to be walking kind of down back to the previous station. So this uh, hike we're going to do today is called the Five Lakes Walk. As you'd imagine, it passes by five mountain lakes of which apparently three of them have a beautiful reflection of Matterhorn directly in them. It's supposed to be a really spectacular trail and you can already see the mountain scenery around us is absolutely amazing. Oh yes, look at these valley views and all the snowy mountains. <laughs> oh, so beautiful! <laughs> That crazy mountain behind us is the iconic Matterhorn and that's the most famous peak in this whole area of the Swiss Alps. It is 4,478 meters above sea level. That's crazy high. It's one of the highest peaks in Europe, one of the highest peaks in the Alps. And they didn't manage to actually climb it until 1865. That expedition didn't go very well because out of the seven people who went up, only three of them actually came back down. Apparently, more than 500 people have died on the slopes of that mountain, making it actually one of the most dangerous peaks in the world. So we're gonna stick down in the valley here and just enjoy the views of the mountain exactly. without actually risking our lives going up the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not the only massive peak in this region. There's actually 38 4,000 meter plus peaks in the Zermatt area, which is absolutely insane. But for now, we're gonna enjoy this Five Lakes Valley Walk and all the beautiful snowy mountain views that surround it. We have arrived at the first lake. This beautiful lake is called Stedisee and I think it's the largest lake here. It's a very, very beautiful, beautiful lake and we could see already that there are some fishes in it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and this lake sits at 2,500 meters above sea level. That's crazy, but it's absolutely stunning with these peaks around and the view of the crazy Matterhorn mountain behind us, reflected in the water, is absolutely... Yeah, picturesque. Oh, the Breath. most picturesque. The most, yeah. Wow. Number two, the name is Grindisee and it's a little bit smaller than the first lake but it's as beautiful. The water is really clear, you can see fishes, it's very nice. Some nice pine trees around, very very peaceful. It looks like a good place to have a lunch break. I think so, I think it's about that time. Mmm! <gasps> We 
we have arrived at lake number three. This one has really pretty red flowered shrubs all around it, which is absolutely beautiful. And there's some yellow ones and some green ones. Look at that. It's like a multicolored background. And this lake is called <laughs> Grünsee. <laughs> For me at the moment it looks more blue than green, but it's so pretty here. I think this is my favorite lake so far. Yeah. This is a very blue lake, but it's not called Blue Lake. What's it called, Lavi? <laughs> Mosisee. <laughs> it looks so nice and blue. You can really see like this glacier water in there. And it's absolutely so beautiful. Wow. I just want to dive in. One more lake to go. And we've still got the crazy Matterhorn views in the background. The backdrop for this entire hike star of the show. <laughs> so here it looks like we are coming back into the ski village and I think that's where the last lake is located right there just by the cable car station. And I think this place is called Senega and from here you can actually take the cable car back down to Zelmat. We are going to hike back down to Zelmat, which apparently is another couple of hours, back down into the valley down there. Here it is, the last lake. And this last lake is called? Lazy. Sounds like lazy. <laughs> and I think this is the lake where people come to be lazy because you can just come straight out of the station here at Suniga and go jump straight in the water with this view behind you. It's pretty cool. I think after quite a long hike on a hot day, it's time for us to take a dip in the water. So apparently only one of us is going in. I forgot my bikini this morning. Uh huh. Better get refreshed then, hey? Better go get refreshed. It's like burning the skin cold, <laughs> but it is refreshing after a long hike in the sun. So we have left the last of the five lakes and actually there at Suniga Station, that's the end of the five lakes walk. But to save on the price of two gondola tickets, 
back down to Zermatt and we decided to walk down. <laughs> it's only about two and a half kilometers, but it's about 600 meters down. And all the signs said to go on these like roads going around. Um, but on Maps Me, we saw like one trail, which is just going directly down to Zermatt. Uh, so we're, we're taking that now and we're gonna see how it is. Yeah, just hoping the best that it's not like uh, rock climbing or yeah, no <laughs> that we idea. have to fly at one point. <laughs> it looks quite good so far. Oh my God, this looks like a really steep way down, but <laughs> we've done some steep trails before. So hopefully we can do this one. We've made it down to the other trail. The crazy steep part is over. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh my God. I can feel my knees. Oh my God. My legs are shaking. We just did a massive descent in about 40 minutes. So now it's quite an easy trail round and down to the train station. Still there, in its parking spot. Whee! Red tornado! Ah. <laughs> it's always nice to be back home. Yeah. 10 hours later, we have returned from up there in the snowy peaks at the top to down here in the pretty cold valley. <laughs> it was really, really nice to be all amidst the snowy mountains, all the peaks everywhere, right in the shadow of Matterhorn. Ah. Brilliant, brilliant walk, really, really nice. So we're gonna hit the road now and probably just stop at a rest area on the highway. We're um, heading now towards France, but we really hope that you enjoyed this hiking experience in the Swiss Alps, in the snowy peaks. We absolutely loved it. We hope that you did too. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We will see you next time. If you enjoyed watching this video, you would help us a lot by subscribing to the channel by clicking here. Thanks so much for watching guys, we will see you next time.